The nozzle size is very important. I've got 85s, 55-65s, and 45s. The biggest difference with these is the orifice, the hole that's on the end of it, which we should have already talked about in other videos. We really don't want to be playing around with that hole size. We want to make sure whatever we're trying to cut and that is programmed in there, if we want to be rocking and rolling at 65 amps, we use the 65 amp consumable. If we're going to be doing 45 amp cuts, we use the 45 amp consumable. Nothing really changes from the hand torch or what you should be doing. The only thing that's a big difference when it comes to these nozzles is the fact that it's a little bit more critical in order to get the cleanest cut all the time. Next is your electrode. Now your electrode is important. You want to make sure you have the right amperage electrode for what you're using. Uh, we've got an electrode that's 45 amps to 105 amps, so we're good all around for using it. Now when do you know exactly when they're bad? You'll notice that these electrodes start to have a little bit of pitting on the end of it. Now I've got a couple of these electrodes that I've gone ahead and swapped out. Uh, and put a new one on, probably a little prematurely. All of these here seem to be okay. I usually change these when I change the nozzle, but I do think that these electrodes usually, usually last a little bit longer than the nozzle. 